Hi, my name is Brian Collin, and this video is on operant conditioning. Remember that the best way to study for your exams is to create and take practice tests. Use Learn My Test at www.learnmytest.com to build your own practice tests to study for free, and you can also share them with your friends and classmates. So, operant conditioning started with B.F. Skinner. And what he did was he put cats in a maze and had them pull a string in order to get out of the maze. Skinner realized that the more times the cat was placed in the maze, the quicker the cat would find its way out. Based on his work, Skinner came to the conclusion that, you know, it's a very obvious conclusion, but that if you do something and something good happens or something positive happens, you're more likely to do that thing again. Whereas if you do something and something negative happens, you're going to be less likely to do that thing again. Reinforcement means basically when you do something, it helps your situation. And so you're more likely to do that thing again. So, for example, you go to work, you get paid. And so since you got paid, you're more likely to go back to work because you're going to get paid again. That's an example of reinforcement. So positive reinforcement is getting something positive for doing something. So for example, getting a reward uh, for doing something, whereas negative reinforcement is doing something to remove or take away something that's unpleasant or annoying. So you're more likely to do it again if it removes something that's annoying. So for example, in positive reinforcement, if a dad gives his son uh, money for each A he makes, that kid is going to continue to work hard to make A's so he can earn that money. So it's uh, you know positive reinforcement, adding something in, adding in a reward. So bringing your umbrella out when it's raining is an example of negative reinforcement. We all know that it's annoying to get rained on. So you know using your umbrella reduces the likelihood or reduces the annoyingness of getting rained on. So that so you continue to use it when it rains. That's an example of negative reinforcement. So punishment, in contrast to reinforcement is when you do something and it kind of has a bad consequence in that situation. And so as a result, you're less likely to do that thing again. Positive punishment is when you do something and something bad, painful, hurtful happens to you, reducing the likelihood that you'll do that thing again. So for example, if Sally rides her skateboard down this really big hill and gets hurt, and she's less likely to ride down that big hill again. Punishment is doing something and you lose something positive, making you less likely to do that thing again. So, for example, if a husband loves his wife and then cheats on her and then loses his wife, maybe that will make him less likely to cheat again because he loses something positive or something that he loves. Another famous example of negative punishment is time out. A child misbehaves. He's removed from a situation where he's able to be, he's able to play and interact with his friends. You know, interacting with his friends is something he likes. So taking that away would be negative punishment. So a good way to remember these terms are that reinforcement is increasing the likelihood that you'll do whatever you just did again, whereas punishment is decreasing the likelihood that you'll do it again. And then positive means adding something in, and negative means taking something away. So positive reinforcement is adding something in that increases the likelihood of the behavior. Positive punishment is adding something in that decreases the likelihood of the behavior. Negative reinforcement is taking something away that increases the likelihood of the behavior. And negative punishment is taking something away that reduces the likelihood of if you haven't already, check out LearnMyTest.com at www.LearnMyTest.com where you can make practice tests to study. It really is the best way to study for psychology tests. Make an account free and add bgcolin at gmail.com as a study buddy to get free psychology practice tests to help study for your I will be posting new videos on psychology concepts that you'll probably be covering in your psychology classes every month. So please click the subscribe button to stay updated on the new videos that I post. Thank you again for watching the video.